Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the first video tutorial from the series on Geo5 FEM program. So in this short video we will uh, cover the very basic problem of trend settlement and uh, we will analyze it using the finite element method. Basically we will follow the engineering manual that is available at our website Finesoftware EU. So go to support, engineering manuals, and if you filter just these manuals that are dealing with Geo5 FEM, you can find this engineering manual number 21, Terran Settlement Analysis. Click on it, download it, open it, and here is what we will what we will do. So we will determine the Terran settlement induced by a strip surcharge loading of 250 kilopascals along the length or width of 4 meters. And we will also look on the settlements after unloading. The geological profile is homogeneous and we have these soil parameters. In this uh, tutorial we will not cover how to get this number from uh, the laboratory uh, testing and we take these numbers as granted. So let's start the program. Go to your desktop, Geo5 folder and click on FEM to start the program. Okay, so this is the main window, but before before starting uh, creating the model, we will save this untitled uh, file to some folder and let's name it FVM tutorial 01 for example. Okay, so here is the path to our file. So the main window uh, works in two modes. The first mode is topology here, topo, and then there are uh, computational stages. So we define uh, the topology and the uh, material models uh, here. So let's go to, through the frames that are available in the topology mode which is project frame. Here there are some details about your project and what is important is the system of units, which is metric here. I will leave this unchanged. The other option is to use the uh, English unit system. Then we go to settings. We have project type, the plane strain. The other option is axis symmetric, but we will use a plane strain project type in uh, this problem. Uh, analysis type is stress or stress strain analysis. The other options is steady state water flow or transient water flow or slope stability uh, where you compute the factor of safety or the coupled problem of uh, consolidation. We will, so we will leave this as stress. We will switch off tunnels. We don't want to use uh, any partial excavation feature which is uh, used to analyze tunnels and uh, the geostatic stress that is created in first stage we will use uh, we will compute it directly uh, from the self weight uh, of the of the soil the other option uh, is uh, to compute the horizontal stress from predefined uh, coefficient of lateral pressure, but I will leave this as geostatic stress. Okay, then you go to interface, where you define the interface by, uh, first we, uh, we define the model ranges, so here the numbers are the minimum and maximum X range, so basically it's the position of the left and right boundary of your model so our model will range from minus 15 to plus 15 
2 plus 15 and the depth below the deepest interface will be as well 15 so click OK and now add the first interface uh, which is the terrain in our example and you can use mouse to define uh, the points of the uh, of the interface you can see that I have on this feature uh, that snaps those points to this grid if you don't have it in your software go to settings input grid and steps and just check uh, these show grid and snap to grid options okay so I will define the terrain at the uh, at the vertical coordinate zero so these two points define our terrain click OK at interface and we have created this first interface with the, these two points and the bottom boundary is automatically added and these uh, vertical boundaries as well so this is our geometry or our soil profile and we have to define the materials that will be assigned to this model so go to soils frame click add and here we have to define soil 01 the name of our soil and the model the material model uh, will be more coulomb and here we have to fill all these parameters that are defined in the engineering manual so 19 is the unit weight this was 15 megapascals was the elastic modulus the unloading reloading modulus was 45 the Poisson ratio if I remember that correctly 0 0.35 okay what do we have here 29 and 8 29 is the angle of, of internal friction and cohesion is 8 kilopascals you can choose color and pattern for your soil these are okay so click add this created this item in the list of soil we have just one soil one item so click cancel to close this form and we have defined one material then go to rigid bodies no rigid bodies defined in our model and go to assign uh, assign frame and because we have just one domain and one soil the software automatically assign the soil to this region so nothing to do here in the assign frame we have no consta, uh, con, uh, contact types no uh, free points and free lines these are used to define some more complex geometries interfaces are basically uh, here to define the soil layers and these free points and free lines are here to define uh, some structural elements like walls or uh, beams etc okay we do not have any point or line refinements of the mesh so let's go directly to mesh generation frame and create the frame uh, the typical edge length is one meter by default you can change this easily but we will leave this uh, and generate the mesh in this example so we have this finite element mesh and that's what we have to do in the topology mode so go to first stage now of course you can you can zoom and uh, fit to zoom by uh, using your mouth, uh, mouth wheel and uh, here in the topology you have another set of frames the first one is activity so all our model is active you can deactivate this uh, if you define some excavations for example but here all the soil is present or active in in the model Mm, 
then we have assign frame everything is assigned correctly as in the topology we have no water no beams no contacts no point supports we have some line supports and these line support this one this one and that one are these three uh, lines in this list and these are automatically automatically generated by checking this option over here if you uncheck it they disappear and you can you can uh, assign a different uh, line supports or boundary conditions to your model but we will leave these uh, default uh, default boundary uh, conditions here so we have no anchors probes no reinforcements no surcharge in the first computation stage we will add surcharge in the next computation stage so let's go directly to analysis which is the frame from which the analysis is uh, is run so let's click analyze and the program computes the geostatic stress you can see the vertical stress sigma z uh here you can see which is zero on terrain and 280 uh, at the bottom boundary you can examine the horizontal stress horizontal effective stress which is about zero on the terrain and uh, 150 at the bottom boundary so it's smaller here than the vertical stress because of course the coefficient of lateral pressure is uh, smaller than one typically it's computed using the Poisson ratio here and what else we have zero settlement vertical and horizontal of course we computed some vertical and horizontal settlement or some vertical settlement here because the soil was loaded by its self weight but uh, this is uh, unrealistic this is just to create the initial stress so the vertical st vertical uh, or, or the, the displacement or settlements in the first stage are zeroed so there's no no deformation in the first uh, in the first stage and what else We can display uh, these fields uh, as isosurfaces or isolines. I think these isosurfaces are nicer. And yeah, that's it. We can show the finite element edges as well. So let's go and create a second computation stage. Again, check that the model is active. The right soil is assigned to the right. Uh, right domains no water no construction elements but we add some surcharge click add textually name it as my sur surcharge for example and it will be strip surcharge could be line surcharge or trapezoid surcharge or some general surcharge but we leave this as strip surcharge applied on terrain ranging from minus 2 x coordinate and the length or width of the uh, of the surcharge is 4 meters and it's vertical so the slope or the, this this uh, alpha angle is 0 so it's vertical surcharge and its value is 250 click add we have created new line in this list click cancel to close that and go straight to analysis click analyze and you can observe the course of analysis the load is applied in several loading steps and this is the result so we have this 250 the vertical stress uh, here under the surcharge we have zero here uh, we have some horizontal horizontal stress we have of course the displacement the vertical displacement or vertical settlement 
and we can also look at the deformed model. So the vertical settlement is 102 millimeters and yeah that's it that's what we obtained in the uh, second construction stage where we applied uh, the vertical surcharge and you can look at the course of analysis if you are interested you can see that the loading was applied in one two three four four steps and these lines are the iterations in which the program tries to uh, reach the equilibrium between the external forces which is the surcharge and the internal forces which is the stress in the uh, in the soil so let's continue and create a third computational or, uh, or construction stage uh, in which we in which we remove the surcharge to model the unloading so let's go straight to surcharge click on this line and remove remove that item so remove this surcharge go to analysis run analysis and here we have applied uh, here we have unloaded our model so the vertical settlement dz is smaller but we still have some permanent uh, vertical settlement or some permanent deformation so if you look at it on the third stage on unloading and uh, with loading you can also choose here deformed by coefficient and if you choose some correct value like 10 you can compare uh, visually uh, the displacement in, sec in the second stage and the third stage so this is this is how the soil was deformed when the uh, vertical uh, load was present and then upon unloading Okay, there is still one thing that I didn't show you. I will go to second stage. And if you look at the epsilon equivalent plastic, which is the plastic strain, you can see the plastic regions. Uh, so you can see that this sort of wedge uh, zone of plasticity is present here in this, in this model. And they stay more or less the same uh, when you unload the soil. So there is some plasticity because the Merkulom model allows for creation of some plastic regions when the soil is uh, loaded by shear stress. So this is the, these are the plastic regions. So okay, I think this concludes uh, our analysis. I click save to save my work. And I hope you enjoyed this short manual and thank you for your attention and happy FEM computing. More information can be found in other video tutorials, online help, engineering manuals and verification manuals. Should you have any questions, please contact our support team.